The penultimate race of the season then is the Starters Order 6 National Hunt Flat Race. And it's over a mile and six furlongs this one. This is the only one of the whole season, I think. That's not over two miles. And at the top, we've got Mar Descanecido for Leon van Rensburg, Pogba for Stu Gray, Rebellion, Paul Rhodes, Small Chances, Alex Cherry, The Dare, Joshua Sutherland, Blinded, Graham Clitterbuck, Shan Cesar, Paul Rhodes and The Glider for Joshua Sutherland. So just eight of them then as the rain comes down. And away we go with the Joshua Sutherland pair to the fore. And the Dare is the one that's just in the lead from the Glider in second. And Blinded is the Great. And the back marker early on is Pogba. And I know the Pogba will be back next season. Pretty sure that the football in Pogba probably won't be back in England next season. But not sure about whether the horse version will be. I'm sure. Stu will let us know, but the deer is currently the leader from the glider and small chances as they pass the winning post with a complete circuit of the track to go. So two for two for Josh, two for Leon, two for Paul Rhodes. And just Stu, Alex Cherry and Grand Critterbook in there as well. So the deer in front then from the glider in second. Small chances is in third, and comes Mars Descanecido with Rebellion and Shan Caesar, and then finally Blinded and Pogba. So the season is almost at a close. This is an opportune moment to sort of say everybody's hope, hope, hope everybody's had a decent season and exceeded their targets. Uh, an enjoyable time, and we'll be back in. Just 10 weeks' time, 71 days for declarations to close for the start of next season. There's no trial races going up this year, so you're going to have to go into it blind. I was talking to Leon last night, and Mark's going to be making a new race kit with all the new changes and your latest downloaded patch. It means that uh, all your horses will work. The race kit will now be in sync with that. Your, your CK, your construction kit, or in your game where you're doing your trial, and it's now been redone as well in one of the most recent patches so your four and your five year olds are going to be more competitive than they were this next season so there shouldn't be any problems now with the too many old horses winning too many flat races it should be more a level playing field again so every reason to get your stables back in for next season and build on what we've got it's been really tight it's really tight on the flat the jumps josh has taken it on wins and i think leon's just about got it sewn up on money but it's been a good season and we're into the final two and a half furlongs of the National Hunt Flat Race and the Deer is the leader. Small chances second and then comes Shan Caesar in third. The glider is back in fourth and they're racing now towards the final furlong and a half and we could get a bit of an upset here because I don't think many people were expecting Alex Cherry to take this one. Small chances has now burst off into the lead from the Deer and Shan Caesar and then blinded Mar Descanecido and racing up towards the line. Small chances is going to cause the final upset maybe of the season with winning this one. Small chances the winner Shan Caesar second in the Deer and blinded and all the way back to the as usual, disappointing Pogba, and I'm not necessarily talking about the horse, but it's a win for Alex Cherry. A man who's done a great job on the jump handicap this season. Not an easy job, and he's done it well, and picks up a deserved win there. So small chances, the winner for Alex Cherry. Shan Caesar for Paul Road second. The Dare for Joshua Sutherland third. Blinded for Graham Clutterbuck fourth. And Mar Descanecido for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth.